entities is uh, the North African Berber. Now, these indigenous people populate mostly Morocco, Algeria, Tunisia, and Libya. CCTV's Hamida Miller traveled to Morocco, where she spent some time with the Berber community in the harsh Sahara Desert. The Kingdom of Morocco in North Africa is not often recognized for how diverse it is. Visitors expecting to see only desert. Varying from buzzing metropolis to smaller towns and villages, sightseers are able to travel through lush desert plantations onto the expected arid desert plains. More than 800 kilometers from the country's capital, Rabat, is the Sahara Desert. And it's taken us a full day's drive to get here. The Sahara is often known for its harsh and inhospitable climate. And all that can be heard is the whistle of the wind. Sometimes a soul can't be found for miles. However, many Berber families choose to spend their lives here clinging to their distinct culture and language. It's unclear if these communities have always been in North Africa or if they migrated from the Iberian Peninsula. However, the nomadic lifestyle of Morocco's indigenous people has become increasingly difficult. Berbers face a harsh existence in the desert and mountains of the country plagued by poverty. Many have now settled in villages where there's employment and modern amenities. Though ultimately, the desert remains a refuge for Berbers whose culture dates back 4,000 years. While Berber society is tribal and clan-based, it's influenced by Islam. Individual Berber families in the desert build settlements out of tents and small shelters constructed from animal skins, wood, sand and water. A camp is made up of an entire family. Women remain there while the men head to the sand dunes to tend to their herds of sheep, goats or camels. Mohammed, what is this for? This is for brood. Family nomad, they make it fire. 20 minutes, half hour and bring and make it brood and make it hair. Right. So the nomad family